It's maybe the biggest night ever here in Hollywood because Star Wars premieres tonight. That's, right. That's big. Uh, fans, uh, fans all over America have been lining up to see Star Wars, but especially fans in uh, New York and L.A. where they have had these big lines. Some have been waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks before the movie came out, and uh, they put their lives, uh, not much of lives, but they put their lives on hold <laughs> to save a place in line to see this movie. Now, I had a chance this week to visit both lines to compare and contrast nerds from each coast. Take a look. The whole country is excited about Star Wars Episode 3, but no one is more excited than the people who decided to camp out in front of the movie theater, waiting in line to see it. You're in L.A., there's a line in New York, it's a bigger line in New York, the fans in New York are actually standing, whereas you guys seem to be on some sort of camping trip here. What do you say to New York fans that say you aren't as committed to Star Wars as they are? They suck. That's suck. I think we're smarter. We just brought, we brought the chairs. They can bring chairs. So you're saying that you're smarter than the fans of New York and that they suck. Right. This is uh, the line in New York City outside the Ziegfeld Theater. How long have you guys been here? Since April 30th. April 30th. Wow, that's a really long time. Now, the fans in LA, um, I don't know how to say this. They said they're smarter than you guys and that you guys suck. What do you say to that? Well, we're all in it for charity and for love of Star Wars. And right. We raise money for Star Wars right. Children's Foundation. Right. That said, they're clearly the stupidest line and they suck real hard. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, those guys say that you guys are a bunch of idiots and they think you suck back. That's a great comeback. See how we're smart of them? They can't even have good comebacks. And, uh... I agree. We might have to settle this on the street. So you want to fight the fans in New York? Oh, it's on. <laughs> hey, um, the guys in LA say they want to fight you. <laughs> Put those away for a second. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Um, wow. Look at this, Darth Vader couple. How are you, Mr. and Mrs. Vader? Well, thank you. How are you? If you had kids, there's a really good chance they'd have asthma, right? They like to eat their high. Yo, Jesus, what's up? <laughs> That's what the LA fans finish his phrase. Jabba the blank. Ask him Jabba, what is Jabba the blank? Yeah, Jabba's last name. Okay, I'm okay. ready. My God, it's hot. It's hotter than Chewy's armpit, and they're in the summer on Tatooine right now. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They said to ask you another trivia question. Who finished this um, phrase? Jabba the blank. And I'll give you a hint. It's um, there's a pizza chain with the same last name. But. but. Let me tell you something. We're on Solo, they're a bunch of Ewoks. Oh, that's just me. I'll tell them. Oh, I don't know. We're not getting anywhere with this. I go there. 
they say something nasty about you guys, I come here, you say something nasty about them. There's only one way to settle this. R2, who's the biggest Star Wars fan? New Yorkers or LA? New York, LA. Look, it doesn't make any difference. As far as I can tell, they're both a bunch of complete and utter dweebs. Help me, everyone, Kenobi. You're my only hope. Ouch. That's tough, guys. Women, you know? You ever had sex with one of them? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. We'll be right back with Harmony Electra.